everybody, welcome to Capital Combat. The name says it all. I'm Hakeem Branch. Rob Jarrell. And today, we're going to preview this Saturday's UFC 182, which features John Jones defending his light heavyweight title against Daniel Cormier. Now, there are a few other fights on this card, none too many to write home about. Um, probably the most intriguing fight would be the uh, co-main event, which is Donald Cerrone versus Miles Jury. But we're not gonna cover. We're just gonna stick with the title fight this time with Jones and Cormier, because this one is a very highly anticipated fight that has been a long time coming. Go ahead, Rob. All right. So if you watch the build up to this fight and the original uh, pre-fight date, these guys do not like each other at all. For whatever the reason, fine. I don't know. John Jones has been called fake. Uh, John Jones told Cormier, you've never seen anybody like me. Hey, what's, uh -oh. They don't like each other. So, come Saturday, we'll see who is the big guy. Right now, this is the most dangerous fight. And I know we said that before. We were proven wrong. But this is the most dangerous fight that John Jones has had, will have to date. Because Cormier is the truth. He may not look it, but he is a world-class wrestler. He's way more athletic than anyone thinks. And he's extremely explosive. And he has fast hands. And what we've seen is that John Jones does have problems with guys that can box. But... That guy that gave him trouble was also an inch taller than him. Yeah. Cormier is only, what, about 5'11"? Yeah, like 5'10", 5'11". So he's very short. He's also giving up a whole foot in reach. Right. So you're looking at 84-inch reach versus 74-inch reach? Something like that. 74 72. Two. Yeah, so that is a big disadvantage. But with Cormier, we've also seen him out-wrestle guys by the likes of uh, uh, Barnett and... Dan Henderson. Yeah, these and these are pretty good wrestlers and jujitsu practitioners. So we know this guy, if he gets on the inside, he will give John Jones trouble. But John Jones has only been taken out like twice. Once. Once in twenty one fights. That that speaks for itself. Yeah. He with that being said, he has not been taken down by an Olympic level wrestler which Daniel Cormier is true so I do expect him to go down question is will he stay down Cormier believes he will but like we said he has to get through a more than a foot of reach of John Jones and yes he has taken down guys the likes of Barnett and Dan Henderson and all those guys those guys were pretty old too and they were a lot slower than John Jones He's knocked out people. That was like Bigfoot Silver. But these guys are not John Jones. Time out. Now, in John Jones, this is the most explosive, the fastest, the most, exp well, not the most experienced, but probably the highest level that Daniel Cormier has fought for thus far in his MMA career. So this one is a true toss-up because even John Jones shined against the old guard of MMA, um, against the Rampages and uh, mm -hmm. Machidas and all that. Those guys were great, you know, a few years ago, and they they were on the decline when he got a hold of them, and he looked spectacular. Uh, Gustafson, we shook, we saw his his championship heart because he had a guy who was young and hungry, and pushed him to the limit. And he stepped up another level and was able to pull that fight out. So we haven't seen that from Cormier because the people he's fought have been, well, he fought a Starbucks barista, a 40-plus-year-old Dan Henderson at light heavyweight. And then at uh, heavyweight, he fought Roy Nelson and Frank Mir, two guys also that are on the downside of their career. So this is going to be a very intriguing matchup that can go either way and we can either see a knockdown drag out classic for the ages to ring in the new year or a very tactical 
to the casual eye boring fight. And I think that's what we're going to see because both of these guys are very, very good at winning rounds. Um, they know how to pace the round. They know how to score the takedowns when they need to score the takedowns. They're very accurate in their striking and they know how to land just enough for the judges to say, you know what, I want to give this guy a round. So, it might be a back and forth thing like that. One of them lands a punch, the other one's like, oh, I got to get that back. So it, it'll be entertaining in that aspect, but there's going to be a lot of fainting, a lot of positioning, a lot of movement. Um, these guys don't want to make a mistake against the other because they don't like each other so much. Kind of like uh, when he fought Rashad. Mm -hmm. um, it ended up turning out to be a pretty decent fight, but you could see that both guys were like, hey, I'm not trying to make a mistake against this guy. Um, but John Jones ended up stepping it up. So as far as a pick, honestly, I don't really have one. Um, I'm just going to enjoy the fight. I'm not sure who's going to win. I, I kind of want to lean towards Jones, but I can totally see Cormier pulling it out. Um, yeah, that, that's that's what I got. What you got? So this is really tough to pick because Jones, we know he likes to land those lead leg kicks. Uh, to um to his opponent's lead leg, and we know if you can get inside his punch work, we know he's not the greatest boxer. Yeah. He can quickly turn it over and turn it into an elbow. And the fact that he doesn't get taken down very easily or at all. Same with Cormier. He has the footwork and he yeah. can box himself. He can box in, and I think he has the better takedown offense. Yes, um, bar none. But the thing is, can he get inside that reach? And I think he's the one that's going to be going for the home run punches over those exchanges. If they get in the exchanges, I think Cormier will get the better of Jones. But I just think that Jones will do a better job at controlling the distance and where the fight takes place. Yeah, and that's really the key to the fight right there. So, I mean, I want to say Jones by edge, but it's kind of hard because we know Cormier has pretty much been... The, undersized just underestimated his whole career not just in the UFC but we're talking about with uh, strike force as well when they had the tur the heavyweight tournament it's like yeah. oh he's not gonna win and he just finds a way to put someone on their backside yeah so what do you guys think hit us up in the comments section um, you can hit us up on Facebook capital combat Google plus same name um, you can shoot us an email, capitalcombat at gmail.com. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can hit us up there and uh, you can add us, we can add you to the combat mailbag. Um, thanks for watching this episode. Make sure you like it, share it with your friends, and we'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace. This is round one, and you've already lost. They don't seem to see that everything we've done is coming and gone. My fists are on fire. I perform till I perspire. My demons are in a rage. Keep thinking that it's a game. I kick rhyme, hurricane. I told them I don't play. I'm liquid. Black Street Fighter. Street Fighter.